Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Nate Nee. SEO.co search engine optimization podcast. Today we're going to talk about content creation and in particular very specifically on-site content creation and <clears throat> what content, on-site content that you would like and should outsource versus what should, you should keep in-house. We are obviously a content marketing agency and a big part of what we do is write written and uh and do verbal written and video content for our clients on their websites. And as a result, we have a vested interest in saying that all of your on-site content should be created by and <clears throat> outsourced to a third-party agency. However, there that may not be the case. And it really depends on the cost and the type of content that you're producing. Uh, we've worked with uh, medical companies where the content that's being created is highly technical in nature legal and uh, investment related companies where there is either an attorney review or some sort of financial uh, compliance review that has to occur before content goes live and as a result there is it's the the frictionless process of actually creating and publishing that content in an easy way is not there and so there are a little bit more barriers to getting that content live on a website uh, whether that's on or off site. And so <clears throat> as we discuss keeping our our content uh, and our content creation in-house versus outsourcing it, there are a couple considerations there. Number one, there's a big difference between outsourcing your content creation and offshoring your content creation. For those of us that are native English speakers, and unless someone has a, an advanced English degree from a, a country where English is not their first language, we highly suggest against uh, sourcing writing uh, uh, writers and content creation uh, personnel outside the United States. Otherwise, we, um, we, we highly advocate for all content be, to be created by not only English uh, natives, but also English writers who are actually one really good at writing in general and two can be well versed in the industry segment in which you may operate and that might include um, someone who's really whose website is focused on real estate you want to have someone create your content who understands real estate and has experience writing for real estate related websites and it may even be even more niche specific than that. You know, maybe it's real estate debt or perhaps uh, real estate investing that you want to have someone write uh, the content for. So, what whatever the case may be, having one quality and two industry knowledge, tacit knowledge of that sector is very helpful. Um, when it comes to creating on-site content, it also helps to have someone who really knows uh, search engine optimization inside and out. And that would mean someone who knows how to craft both the internal and external links in a way that's going to benefit, benefit you the most. And that usually is dependent and requires someone who knows your on and on-site strategy, knows what anchor text you wanna use, knows which pages you want to really drive a lot of link equity to. And so as you're building or has either you in-house or outsourcing uh, somebody to, to build that on-site content for you, knowing that keyword strategy is extremely helpful knowing which pages to target and link to. Uh, <clears throat> we obviously provide this service, so we're somewhat self-serving in, in saying that outsourcing your content creation is a big time saver. Uh, unless you want to hire someone full time, you know our writers and what our writers charge a very uh, we charge a very nominal fee for the writers that we have in house that create that content, and they do a very good job. We stand behind all the work that our content uh, writers create. Um, but if you want to have find someone full time, that's great. If not, uh, we're your team. 
So we always advocate for outsourcing when you when and where you can, and particularly as it relates to content that's informational in nature for landing pages and blog posts. Thanks again for joining us. We hope to see you here again soon on this SEO podcast. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.